Hello Art1 students. This is a short video on how to draw a 8 inch wide times 10 inch long grid on a normal piece of computer paper. A, a piece of computer paper is normally 8.5 inches wide times 11 inches deep. So here's going to be what we're going to have overall. 8 inches going this way, then 10 inches this way. Let's start with a blank piece of white paper, a computer piece of paper. So we're going in portrait mode. So portrait is this way and landscape would be the wide way. So we're sticking with portrait mode. And that way we have a correct measurement. Since it's 8.5 by 11, we're going to have to measure from the top. And we're going to measure a half inch down from the top of the paper. Now, here's the ruler. I'm going to zoom in and we're going to get our measurements. As you see here, this ruler is clear. The beginning of the ruler is there at the zero. That's where we're measured from. So now, there's the, the quarter inch mark right here, and the half inch mark. So we're going to first measure one half inch on the upper left hand corner. Line it up. Make sure our ruler is parallel to the top of the paper. And also to the left so we have it's even. Make a mark a half inch. Then make a mark on the other side, equally, equal, half inch. And go ahead and connect that line, medium, light line. If we make any mistakes, we can erase it. So that's a half inch. Once again, left and right. Since this is a video, you can pause it. All right, so that's the first line. Now we're going to measure one quarter inch on the left hand side. And zoom back out. So there's our first line. Now we're going to measure a line on the left side. So I'm going to measure one quarter inch. We're going to line it up and zoom in. So our rulers that way. That's the line we just drew. Line up our ruler where the zero is to the left of it, left edge of the paper. And we're going to do a quarter inch. Quarter inch is there. There's a quarter inch, there's an eighth, a quarter, that's a half, so make sure we do a, a quarter inch. We'll do it at the top. And we'll go all the way down to the bottom and do the same. There's the bottom of the paper. Do the same at the bottom. Quarter inch. Okay, so we're going to zoom out and we're going to connect those lines. I'm right handed, but left handed doesn't matter as long as you get that quarter inch measurement from the left. So just draw another line, medium, medium light. Always darken them later. Okay. So there we go. So we have that. So we have this line, which is a half inch from the top, then a quarter inch from the left. Now what we're going to do, we're going to measure eight inches to the line we just drew here. So let me make that line a little bit darker so you can see it. I'll make the top darker as well. 
you can go ahead and do this as well if you like. Okay, so now what we're going to do, we're just going to measure 8 inches. Zoom in a little bit. And we're going to measure 8 inches from that left hand line we just drew and make a mark. Line up here, make a mark at 8 inches. Right there, 8 inches. Let's do the same thing towards the bottom. Once again, you can always pause and rewind if you need to go back and for the measurement. So I'm going to move the paper up so you can see it. Do the same thing towards the bottom. Line it up to the left hand line we drew, which was a quarter inch from the edge. Do the same thing. Mark eight inches at the eight inch line. Make sure your ruler is parallel to the bottom. Okay. Now, what we're going to do now is I'm going to zoom out and we're going to connect those two lines. And we have the right side of our grid, which is basically a box. Okay. I'm going to make sure they connect. Okay, last last measurement. So we're going to make an 8 by 10 box, and we'll draw the grid inside. We're going to measure 10 inches down. So go to the top. You can even just go over here. Let's start on the right-hand side. I'm a right-hander. So we're going to make sure, let me zoom in, that your ruler is lined up to the top of your paper. See how it's lined up? There's a zero, there's the beginning of the ruler. Now what we're going to do is go, make sure it's lined up like we just stated. And we're going to go all the way down to the bottom of the paper and mark 10 inches. So we're on the right side. Let's go ahead and, and uh, mark 10 inches. There's 10 inches on the bottom. I just it right there. And I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. Make sure it lines up with a zero at the beginning of the line of the ruler. Lines up there. You can even just go like here. Line up your ruler so it's even to the edge of the left hand of the paper. Line it up. Mark your 10 inch mark right there at the bottom. 10 inches. And lastly, connect them. Now I have an 8 by 10 box inside of a 8.5 by 11. Okay, so the next thing we're going to do is we're going to measure every mark of, of, the, of every inch on the top. And we'll do it in the bottom and we'll make these tick marks. So let me zoom in and do the top. And let's do all the tick marks starting from the edge. The left edge, line up a ruler. There's the beginning of a ruler. Line it up on the left edge, left line, not where the bit the paper is, but where the first line is, which once again is a quarter inch from the edge. See? Okay. So now we're going to mark every inch. So we have a one inch grid. Make your marks at the edge. Make sure your ruler is parallel. Just make them big enough so you can connect them to the other one on the bottom and make your grid line. All right, so seven is the last one, as you see, because eight is the width of it. Let's do the same thing on the bottom. I'm just going to move it down to the bottom. Okay, and that's we have the same amount of tick marks, seven, all right, and it is the edge. All right, let's do this on the side. So, 
So this is what it looks like so far. We have our tick marks top and bottom. So probably the easiest way to do this is just turn your paper to the side, okay? All right, so I turned it to the side. Now I'm going to go to the top, line it up to that left line, which is our top line, and do the same thing, mark every inch. So I'm going to zoom in, do the same thing. Lined up, parallel to the top edge, and we're just going to make our marks. Okay, you notice we have nine marks because ten is the bottom of the box. So nine would be our last one. All right, you see? All right, let's continue and move to the bottom or the other side of the paper. Do the same thing. See, that's lined up. So this is the top of the paper. So since we're in, on our side, line that line up. And we're going to do the same thing. There's the bottom of the uh, paper. Then we're going to, every inch, make a mark. What I meant to say, this is the left-hand side, but since we're on the side of the paper and we turn it on its side, let's just make those marks. Same amount of marks, nine, okay? So 10 is there and it's the bottom. So now we have that, we zoom out, we'll have tick marks all the way around. Just like that. Before we draw any lines, I want you to put some writing up here. So we know it's yours. I want you to put your name. Place for your name. Put it up here and we'll start right here. Name. Put your first name and last name. I'll put a line in there. You don't have to put a line, but that way you have something right on then uh, below that you can write your period class period period and then um, over here you'll put the date okay okay so that's about it for the for the um, labeling. Always upper right hand corner, and when you do turn in your assignments, know it, I'll know for sure it's yours and not somebody else's. All right. So what we're gonna do? We're going to connect the lines and make our grid. So this grid for the for for the purpose of this video, I'm gonna make the lines medium medium light um, if we do uh, the self-portrait um, 8x10 grid later on it'll be lighter and erasable but since this is uh, for when you're doing the uh, the cartoon falcon it could be medium light and uh, but when when we do uh, if we do the uh, self-portrait with, with your face then you have to be uh, lighter so because you'll erase the parts of the grid later all right so um, here we go we're going to line them up so we'll go let's let's just go ahead and uh, attach these lines I know it's probably not the clearest here so we're gonna line up this top line, so it's lined up, and we're going to line it to the bottom line. So it's to this line. So that's one inch. So you're going to line those tick marks up and just pull with your pencil to you make a line that connects them like that. You'll do the same for all the tick marks 
So they connect medium light line, just dark enough so you can see it. Now, what we're going to do is the same technique. We're going to go up to the tick mark we did on the left. I'm going to connect it to the right. We're going to connect those lines as well. Make sure they're lined up. Hold the ruler down so it doesn't move. I didn't state that before. You just get to press down on the ruler with your non drawing your hand and make sure it doesn't move so you can connect these lines without a problem. All right, so that's the last line. And we have a eight inch wide by 10 inch tall grid. So the next step is to label it. So we're going to label going across with letters. So since this is an exercise, uh, we can just do it here at the top, A. B, C, D, E, F, G, H. That's the last one. You do the same thing on the bottom. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H. On the sides, we'll do the number system. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, on the right side. So, there we have it. And uh, when we go since we're doing the, the Falcon uh, the cartoon grid assignment, this is perfectly fine if you do it like this. Um, if we do the project where you will do your face, then you obviously have to put your letters outside of the box. Uh, and uh, there will be further instructions on that. But this is just the basic 8x10 setup um, if you're starting from scratch on a piece of computer paper. Okay? Good luck.